Yeah, it's Hobbs Horror, knocking down your door, all about the guts and gore, blood and pus, give him some more, he wants bone and entrails spread across the floor, so if you're looking for that theater macabre, look no more, sit back and relax and enjoy some Hobbs Horror. Thank you for watching Hobbs Horror, Hobbs Horror, Hobbs Horror. Yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good shit, good shit, good shit. Welcome to Horror Sci-Fi Reviews with Hobbs Horror. Today is your My Sci-Fi Review. We were talking about a 1997 film that most of you know about. It's an hour and 37 minutes long, which is hit or miss, one hour and 36 minutes. It gets a low rate of 6.8 on IMDb, which is ridiculous for this film. We have Event Horizon. That's right, a first time watch for me over the weekend watching Event Horizon. There you have it, starring Lawrence Fishburne as the captain of the Lois and Clark. Let's fast forward to 2047, seven years after the missing ship known as Event Horizon. From Captain Neil has been taken. They don't know where it's at or what's happening, but it's suddenly salvaged. And we have Captain Miller takes his group on a voyage to figure out what's happening with the ship, Event Horizon, to basically figure out what is going on there. Why is it still going around space? What's happening with this particular ship now that we've docked it and it is shipwrecked? Now, directed by Paul Miller, this film actually, uh, apologies, gets a 6.6 in IMD, which is even lower than I would have thought. Uh, basically, this film, to me, brings out a lot of what you would see in like an alien film in terms of the scenery, right? So basically, they're on this ship trying to discover what's happening, it's salvaged, um, there's some back history with one of the main characters, but I don't want to spoil that. Um, give me just a brief second here. I need to adjust the lighting on this. Yeah, this film is very atmospheric. You know, when I got into this, I started watching this. It felt kind of like whenever you're watching the alien films, you know, where they're going down into the tunnels and they're being chased by the aliens. If you're claustrophobic, this might not be the film for you. But basically, once the crew arrive, things start to happen on the Lois and Clark crew. And I'm going to leave it at that because this film is not one to spoil. I don't understand the 6.6 .6 review average for this film. This film is phenomenal. Uh, I want to get this on Blu-ray and experience this in high definition quality. I had an absolute blast with Event Horizon, but I know a lot of you have seen this. I'm very late to the party with this movie. I feel like an hour and 40 minutes range is definitely not long enough for this movie. This is one of those films I felt like they could have gone even longer with, you know, if they wanted to. Uh, Paramount definitely did the right thing, though, by marketing this film. Uh, however, it did have a $60 million budget. Unfortunately, it did not make that budget. It only, it only grossed about $29 million. So Event Horizon, even though it's got a small cult following, actually ended up being kind of a flop. But I know a lot of people that love this movie, including Joe the Horror Man. This movie is a must-watch. And let me know your thoughts on Event Horizon in the comments again. I want to rewatch this probably over the next couple years and probably get it on blu-ray to give it a better look but man this movie was phenomenal uh the effects were great very atmospheric very creepy um like i said some of the scenery i feel like i was in an alien movie when i was watching this just really well shot really one well done well done kudos to the director he did a fantastic job and last off i want to thank you guys for watching this episode of my favorite sci-fi this is Hobbs Horror. Catch up with you later. Catch you on the flippity flip. Peace.